The Anker Solix F3800 is touted as the most accessible home power system. In this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at how it fulfills that promise. We'll cover every aspect of the features and capabilities of the F3800 and show you how, when it's connected to the home power panel, it becomes the ultimate home energy solution. So if you're looking for an all-in-one system to achieve self-sufficient solar energy, then click that like button and don't go anywhere. This video is for you. The Solix F3800 is much more than a typical portable power station because it's useful in a variety of cases. You can plug it into the home power panel and use it as a whole home power backup system. Additionally, you can take it anywhere for power and charging your devices or use it to power your life on the road in a van, RV, or bus conversion. It's the first portable power station to use AC coupling. That means when you use it with the home power panel, you can connect it and plug it directly into the grid and start reaping the benefits of your rooftop solar panels today. You can use excess solar power to charge the batteries of the F3800 or power your whole home directly with the F3800, but more on that later. And of course, like all Anker Solix products, the F3800 is built for years of reliability. The lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry is good for over 3000 cycles with a five-year warranty and it should last over 10 years of everyday use. Let's cover the basic specs of the F3800. All the details will be listed on screen. Now I know you're curious about the weight. 132 pounds does sound like a lot, but you'd be surprised how easily this thing gets around. And that's because the Solux F3800 was designed with portability in mind, so you can take your power on the move. That's because the F3800 is equipped with an easy tow handle that pops up and wheels on the bottom as well as an additional handle for easy mobility. The expansion battery is roughly half the weight of the F3800 while still maintaining the same amount of energy storage capacity. And finally, the home power panel itself is also very modestly sized, and when combined with the included sub-panel fits easily near your home's main breaker panel, making wiring a breeze. All right, now for the good stuff. What can this thing do? Well, the Anker Solux F3800 is extremely powerful and way more versatile than a standard gasoline generator. It produces not only 120 volt AC power, but also 240 volt AC power. A single base unit offers 6,000 watts of continuous rated AC output, and that's enough to power even the largest loads in your home. Everything from a dryer to a central AC unit, a coffee maker, or your washing machine are all easily ran by the F3800. And with peak surging up to 9,000 watts, it can start up even the heaviest loads. And with a battery capacity built in of 3.8 kilowatt hours, the F3800 can power a whole home for at least a full day during a blackout. But that's not where the story ends because the F3800 can be expanded not only in terms of its AC output capacity, but also its battery capacity. You can add up to six expansion batteries at 3.8 kilowatt hours each to your F3800 and extend its battery capacity up to just over 26 kilowatt hours. If you need more AC output power, you can add a second F3800 to your system and double your specs. You can go from 6,000 watts of output to 12,000 watts of continuous output, and you can now handle surges of 18,000 watts. If you need additional battery power, you can also add up to six expansion batteries to that second F3800, bringing the total number of expansion batteries to 12 and giving you over 53 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. That means you can get through blackouts over two weeks long in an average home. The two F3800s are typically combined at the home power panel. However, if you want to achieve this doubling without using the home power panel, you'll need to look into the double power hub coming out from Anchor, releasing later this summer. You'll use that for homes equipped with typical transfer switches and generator interlock kits. Now you'll notice that there are a lot of ports and buttons all over this device. So let's go over them one by one and show you what they do. Starting with the outlets that are on the right side of the unit at the top are two very special ports. The first port is a NEMA 1450 port and the second port is a NEMA L1430R. Both of these deliver 240 volt AC output at a 25 amp continuous rating. Now these are for powering your heavy duty loads, like connecting into your whole home backup power system, or for taking your power on the road and plugging into your RV. Here we have six NEMA 520R receptacles. That's a fancy way of saying these are your standard home AC outlets, and they're providing 120 volt AC power rated to 20 amps each. The three AC outlets on the left side of this bank are unique in that they're designed to function as an uninterruptible power supply. That means if you have your F3800 plugged into the grid at home powering those devices and the power suddenly drops, the quick switch over time of 20 milliseconds means that those devices will stay on and powered and you'll barely even notice the power dropping out of the grid. 
And last on this side, we have the Overcharge Protection, which is a resettable breaker designed to protect your F3800 from too large of loads hitting it. On the front side of the unit, we have a car socket rated at 120 watts of 12 volt DC power, along with a button for turning it on and off. Next to that, we have the IOT button, and you'll use that for connecting to the device with the app. Near that, we have three USB-C outputs rated at 100 watts. Next to those are two USB-A outputs at 12 watts each with a nice LCD display and a button for turning that display on and off. Finally, on the other side of the unit, we have the home power port. That's for connecting the F3800 to the home power panel, and that supports 240 volt AC charging and discharging. Here we have the 100 to 120 volt AC input port. That's what you'll use to recharge your F3800 from the grid. Next to that, we have two XT60 solar input ports. Those are for connecting solar panels. If your input voltage is 11 to 32 volts, you can pull in 10 amps of solar charging. If that voltage is 32 to 60, that number goes up to 25 amps of solar input. And last, this port is for connecting the expansion battery. If you're an EV owner, you'll be happy to know that the F3800 can directly charge your vehicle through its 240 volt high output outlets. Both NEMA 1450 and 1430 ports are suitable for use with EV charging. Just use the one that works with your vehicle. Solar energy is the cornerstone of any sustainable off-grid system. And the F3800 can quickly recharge its battery or power your home thanks to its very efficient solar charging technology. When connecting solar panels to the F3800, you can recharge at a maximum rate of up to 2400 watts. That will fully recharge its battery in two hours. You can use Anchor Solix flexible panels or any other panel by using an MC4 to XT60 connector. When the F3800 is connected to the home power panel, that increases your solar input to 3800 watts but you could use it with any grid tied solar system that exceeds 3,800 watts and the excess power will simply be used to either power your home or be sent back to the grid. Additionally, when connected to the home power panel, the F3800 keeps its ability to charge directly using solar panels connected to the XT60 ports. That means that when the power goes down, you can still recharge off of solar panels to get you through that blackout. Of course, the F3800 can be recharged by connecting to traditional grid power. When connected to a standard outlet in the US, it recharges at 1800 watts, which is the limit for those types of outlets. That means the F3800 can fully recharge in 2.7 hours. But when the F3800 is connected to the home power panel, you're no longer affected by the limit of wall outlets and it can recharge in 1900 watts at 240 volts AC. When you add expansion batteries, your maximum input goes up as well. When connected with an expansion battery to your home power panel, that number jumps to 3800 watts of 240 volt input. With two F3800s and expansion batteries, the number goes up again to 6000 watts of 240 volt input. The F3800 does support pass-through charging at 1800 watts and 120 volts. This means it has the ability to actively charge its batteries while powering loads when it's connected to the grid. But this only applies when the F3800 is functioning as a standalone portable power station. All AC outlets are disabled when the F3800 is connected to the home power panel, but the DC outlets on the front will still function. We've talked a lot about how the F3800 connects to your home for power backup. Well, that is accomplished through the brand new Anchor Solix Home Power Panel. Let me give you a quick look at everything you'll find on the panel. On the front, we have an on-off button. Next to that are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth buttons. Here we have indicator lights for grid and F3800 connection, as well as backup load. The front cover is removable, and that's for accessing the grid wiring and backup wiring. Last, we have a current sensor, and that's used to connect to the cables of current transformers. On the top, there is an antenna for extending the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth range. On the left side, we've got a breaker and a hole for our wiring to enter the box. On the right side, we have an emergency stop. Next to that, we also have a reset button and another breaker. Last but not least, on the bottom, we have two important ports for connecting the F3800s to your system. Now, everything that I've shown you about the home power panel isn't something you normally need to be concerned with. A licensed electrician will be able to handle everything you need to get you set up. The whole system was designed to be quick, affordable, and easy to install. This system comes in at half the price of traditional energy storage systems. It can be installed by a single electrician in just a couple of hours. Simply purchase your unit at anchor.com, call a licensed electrician, and schedule your appointment for installation, and you'll be on your way. Everything you see here makes up the complete Anchor Solix home power system, beginning, of course, with the F3800s. Now, we have two because we have more loads, but you'd be fine with just one. 
On top of that, we've got our expansion batteries to give us more energy storage. These are connected to the home power panel, which not only pulls power in from the grid through the main panel, but also from the rooftop solar. It uses that energy to charge the batteries in the Anchor Solix F3800s, which are then able to supply power to our backup load sub panel through their connection to the Anchor home power panel. Everything works in harmony. The grid and your solar panels feed your main panel. The Solix home power panel either draws power from the main panel and sends it to your F3800 for charging batteries, or uses power from the F3800 to power your main load center. The sub panel is connected to the home power panel and can power up to 12 circuits of backup loads. It's compatible with all types of sub panels, although this one is what's included with our system. The maximum output power to the sub panel is 12,000 watts when you have two F3800s connected and a power outage occurs. Working together with the grid and your existing rooftop solar panels, this system enables whole home power cycling. This works in a couple of different ways that allow you to increase the efficiency of your solar panels and even lower the cost of your monthly energy bills. When connected to the home power panel, the automatic backup feature becomes available. When a power outage happens, the home power panel will automatically switch to the F3800 as the power source and keep up to 12 circuits powered that are connected to the sub panel. This is achieved through a function called EPS, or Emergency Power Supply. It has a switch over time of just 30 milliseconds from grid to backup power, ensuring it won't affect the use of your devices or appliances. With 6,000 watts of output at 120 and 240 volts, whole home backup power is possible, and you can double that to 12,000 watts by connecting two F3800s together. Whole home cycling can be fully controlled right from your fingertips using the Anchor app. This gives you access to two different modes that you can use to get the most value out of your home power system. The first of these modes is self-consumption mode. During the day when your grid-tied panels are producing power, there may be times when they are producing a surplus of that power. That energy is then directed into the battery of your F3800. Then later in the day, or if clouds pass over your panels, you can use that power to run your home without having to rely on electricity from the grid. If your utility company uses time of use billing, then time of use mode is a great way to save money on your energy bills. During the day, you can set a schedule so that when energy prices are low, typically in the beginning of the day, you can store power in your Anchor Solix. Later in the day, as those energy prices peak, you can then run your home off of the cheaper electricity you've already purchased to get you through those periods of peak billing, allowing you to save money right from the beginning. Well, we can talk all day about the features and specs of this system, but the best way to understand how it really works is to talk to somebody who has firsthand experience operating. So that's why we've invited our homeowner today, Andrew, to join us here, and he's gonna share with us his experience using the Solix Home Power System. Andrew, thanks for being here. Yeah. Can you tell us, you've already used this as a backup system for your home. What was that experience like? Yeah, so surprisingly, right after we got this installed, the next day, actually, in the middle of the night, we received an outage, right? <laughs> the outage was about for 12 to 15 hours. Okay. And I noticed, because I got a text on my phone saying there was an outage, and um, we still had power, right? I went outside, we were the only ones in the whole block that had power, so that was really cool. I was so happy that we got it installed. Have you done anything fun or taken this out on any trips, you know, take your solar system on a vacation? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, so I am planning a camping trip and we are planning to take it out, right? And cool. we're gonna light up the whole campsite, it's gonna <laughs> be cool. But I have used this already um, at my, one of my buddies' daughter plays soccer for the school, for our local high school, yeah. and they normally use a generator to power up all the food area, all the mm. lighting and like, you know, TVs and stuff like that. It depends if they're a home game or away game. Right. So if they're home game, they usually have the connections there, but when they're away, they don't have any power. So they usually use a generator, super loud, smells, you know, it's, it's, a big, it's a big issue having a generator. But we took this out there and they powered up their whole area. It was super nice. It, like everyone came to the unit and super excited <laughs> about it taking photos of the unit their yeah phones off yeah it. it was so cool it was so cool because it can power the whole thing so. yeah well one of the awesome features of this is the battery chemistry itself and that's a big part of the value of the unit is that it has a battery that can be cycled like three thousand times and if it's just a pps and you're taking it out camping you know you're probably going to use it a few times a year but with this setup you're able to use it every day for time of use billing can you explain like the benefit of that system and how it helps you yeah for sure and that's one of the things that drew me to this system was yeah. that I wanted to be able to use it, you know, at home and use it outside and wherever I wanted to go, I can use it, right? Yeah. So, so right now I have it on 
the time of use mode. Yeah. Right. So for me living in California, I have, I have a high peak times from five to 8 PM. So I have the battery discharging from five to 8 PM so that it can help me with those high peak loads and save me money. You've got the system installed in your home right now. And what types of loads are you able to power with this and, and how are you using it as a power solution? Yeah. So right now I have, I have it set up as a full home backup. I'm backing up pretty much every load. Wow. So you're able to basically maintain the same quality of life that you have day to day with just these four pieces of equipment wired into your system. Yeah. And the unique thing about this too, is that I can expand if I need more, right? right. So it's so easy to expand. You just add another expansion pack and it's very easy. Yeah. It's plug and play. Yeah. You don't have to even contact an electrician. I don't have to hire anybody to do that. Yeah. That's awesome because I think a lot of this is the type of thing where people don't know how much they're going to use. Yeah and they might change their mind down the road and say, hey, I want some more backup. Yeah, yeah, super easy. Can you tell us a little bit about what the installation process was like and whether or not that was easy for you as a homeowner? Yeah, so it was very simple. I just had one of my local contractors come by, give me a quote, they installed the home power panel and, mm -hmm. and, and the sub panel as a protected loads. It was very simple, very easy. So one of the interesting things that I think separates this from like a typical grid tie energy system, like the one I have in my house, is that this actually has an app and it gives you real time information and even controls how, you know, what's your experience been like using that app? Do you get a lot of functionality from it? Yeah. You know what? I, I love technology and I love yeah. to have everything at my fingertips, right? I like to see what's going on with my system. If it's mm -hmm. working, if it's charging, you know, I, I have to know what's going on. So, so the good thing is about the app is that it, it tells me all the information, right? It tells me what my solar is producing. It tells me what, what I'm consuming from the grid. Right. It tells me what all the devices are doing. So yeah. it, it gives me a health check and everything. And it gives me the satisfaction of, you know, of knowing that everything's okay. Right. So if I get an outage, if I get a message, I get, I get that information. So yeah, it tells me all, everything I need to know. That's cool. And I see graphs on there. It looks like it's doing some data yeah, logging. For sure. So yeah, it logs in everything. It tells me a little bit deep, like a little summary of the day, right? It tells me what my consumption was. Awesome. It tells me what my solar's doing. So yeah, it tells me, tells me everything. That's really cool. So you don't have to wait for the bill at the end of the month to know how much power you're making. Exactly. Or yeah, it's good. I, you know, I know instant. That's and, awesome. Yeah. Time to go clean the panels. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. So Andrew, this isn't the first time you've had a home power system installed. What was it about the Solix series that brought you to using that and selecting that for your home energy system? I'm planning on building a cabin, right? So my idea was to be able to take this with me wherever I need to go. If I needed to connect it to my cabin, I can connect it to my cabin or, you know, we do a lot of camping here. So I, I, we always need power, right? Every right. time we, we're camping, we need power. We don't, we, we don't have lights. We don't have anything. So, I mean, it's fun. It's fun doing the camping thing, but it is fun to have electricity there. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for sharing with us your firsthand experience using this system. I know a lot of people are going to find that really informative. Yeah, thank you. Well, there you have it. And that covers just about everything you need to know about the most accessible home power solution for both backup and sustainable solar energy. If you're curious to learn more, we have a dedicated Facebook group for homeowners and portable power station users like you who are passionate about the uses and advantages of solar energy. It's a fantastic resource to ask questions, gain knowledge and share experiences. And there are even live chats with actual Solix product designers and engineers. Click the link in the description to join the group. And finally, if you're ready to add the Anchor Solix home power system to your house, go to anchor.com and place your order now. If you like these types of videos and want to stay up to date with the latest offerings from Anchor, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already so that we can keep you living in power.